To many, Martin Cooper is the father of the mobile phone. Fifty years ago, he led a team that created a prototype mobile phone and made the first call from a handheld device. Since then, cell phones have come a long way. These were primitive times. There was no internet in 1973, believe it or not. And there were no digital cameras. There were no large-scale integrated circuits. And so the unit that we built was put together with a, a massive number of individual parts. Uh, it weighed uh, over a kilo, almost two and a half pounds. It had a battery life of uh, 25 minutes of talking. These days, mobile phones can stream films and capture professional quality photographs. Cooper predicts the gadgets will play a role in transforming other sectors. The cellular industry is uh, just learning how to do things uh, like uh, revolutionize education, revolutionize healthcare, change the whole concept of collaboration. So this is just the beginning. But the evolution of the mobile phone industry is provoking controversy. Regulators are concerned about how tech companies use clients' data that's gathered by tracking their activity. And somehow uh, our governments do have to uh, uh, decide what is there about us that they have to protect uh, as an example your medical information. Uh, no one should have that except people that you want to have it. And that should be true with your financial information. We haven't figured out how to do all of those things yet. Fifty years after the birth of the mobile phone, governments now have to deal with the unforeseen challenges that it's created. But for many, it's a device they can't do without. Barbara Angepa, Al Jazeera.